Welcome to Kids Express. Join us as we see kids express their love for Jesus while developing their character. On Kids Express! Today we are going to meet two young men with a passion for serving and meeting the needs of others in a good and practical ways by filling special boxes called blessing boxes. I'm Aunt Francine. And I'm Sophia. Can you guess where the world's taste guests comes from? Can you identify what state? If you guess Michigan, you're correct. Let's welcome Ezekiel and Zachariah. Welcome Ezekiel Hi. and Zachariah. Woo, what do you have Ooh, here? what's that? Ooh, I see some. Okay, is, what is this? Fudge. Fudge, Ooh. and Michigan is known for fudge. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was about your age going to Mackinac Island, and that's what they call the UP, the Upper Peninsula, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and you would go up there, and I would always have fudge, <laughs> and I loved it. Do you like fudge? Yes. Yes. yes do you too? Yeah. Yes. We have to be temperate when we have fudge, right? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Michigan. Um, well, it's famous for cereal, and it's famous for cars. Oh, that's Very cool. Very cool. I remember when I was about your age, I went to the Kellogg factory where they made Kellogg's. And that's, is that what you're talking about, the Kellogg's cereal? Yes. Yeah, that was one of those cereals. And what's your favorite cereal? Do you like cereal? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, anything with Ooh. cinnamon in it. <laughs> and cars, have you been to Detroit? In Detroit, seen, Michigan? Yes. Mm -hmm. And see some cars. How about you, Zachariah? What do you like about Michigan? I like to go in the water when it's hot. When it's hot, yeah, yes. Yeah. So do you go to the Lake Michigan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you can put your hands like on the counter over here so we can see your beautiful face. But you know what? Michigan is, the water is really cold in Lake Michigan. Mm -hmm. So you're right. It has to be really hot there. Oh, yeah. And do you like to swim? Yes. <laughs> I do too. And do you do anything else in Michigan? What do you? Um, you go on I, hikes and nature yes. walks? I like that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I like Michigan. Yeah. That's kind of where I grew up, and it was in the southern part of Michigan. Oh. And I would love to go on nature mm. walks. Too. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful, and the leaves always are pretty around fall. Mm -hmm. That's kind of fun. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how the two of you like to share Jesus. What is it that you like to do? Well, we food in blessing boxes. We tape glow tracks onto the items we put in so people can grab it and learn more about God. So tell us, Zachariah, do you, what do you put in those blessing boxes? Foods like um, noodles or something you in there. You put foods. And how about maybe something like shampoo or oh, yeah. whatever for the needy? Yeah, there's a photo. Oh, there's some photos. You're right. And oh, those some of those glow tracks that you put in mm -hmm. there? And so you put mm -hmm. things for people that are sometimes uh, less fortunate, mm -hmm. and you put, and you call that, that's why you call them blessing boxes, yes. because they bless other people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else do you do? We make our own glow tracks and books. Oh, that's you cool. You make your own glow tracks and yeah. books? What? Mm -hmm. How did you do that? You want to show us that? Can you stand up real quick? Tell us a little about, the, are these some examples of what you've done for glow tracks? Yes. Well, um... Like first we work on the backgrounds. Uh huh. So and you then make pictures. We, yes. And then we um then I work inside of it. Okay. And so you make little messages. Oh, there's yeah. another picture. I like that. So you make some pictures and you write and then you sometimes have Bible verses. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite one did that you made? Zachariah? Um, this one. Which one's that? It's about David. Okay. Can you show us? Isn't it a show picture it book over here? Yes. Oh. oh, there's pictures. Uh, and what's happening? So this is the story about David? Yeah. And what's yeah. happening? Um, well, he's, like, protecting his sheep and like that. He's, And then a lion came and tried to get the sheep, so David came after it and got the lion. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So it's these are telling stories about the Bible or having scriptures that you yes. share them? So tell us, oh, did you have a question about it? Um, yes. Well, when did you guys start doing these blessing boxes? Um, well, we start, first started at Michigan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So where do you pass them out? Like, do you go to certain places? We just go roads? to the blessing boxes and just put items in. 
Okay, so you do the blessing boxes, but you haven't delivered them specifically? No, only just to put them in. Oh, the you get them together? Yeah. That's kind of special. And so, how do you know? How, do you do a lot of them? Um, once in a while. Okay, mm -hmm. so does church members pass them out for you, or who passes them out for um, you? We just grab items from the store and just... Mmm, that's nice. Okay, so you grab things? Yeah. So you grab things, and this, how do you know what to put in there? We just put items that are ref not non-refrigerated because it'll just rot. Right, because you don't know, and you want it to be there yes. for a lot of people for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so tell us a little bit more. Is there anything else that you do to share Jesus? Um, well, we, I do special music. Oh, you do? Yeah, once in a while. Okay, at church? Yeah. Okay, and what do you, do you sing? Do you play? What I do you play do violin. for special music? Oh. You play the violin? Yes. Wow, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It requires you to practice. Anything else that you do? We sing songs uh -huh. and hymns. Okay, that's yeah. nice. Can you hold this for me? Yeah, hold that for me. That was very nice. So, um, if you had to develop one character trait, sometimes we talk about how to develop our character, and sometimes we always want to do what God wants us to do, but there's sometimes that there's something that we need to work on. Like, if there was one thing that you would have to work on. Now, you two are, you're what, eight? Yes. And six? Yes. So, what's one thing that two of you always need to work on? Teamwork. Mm. Teamwork. Oh, that's <laughs> a hard one. So, because the two of you are on an, the same, are close to age, is there any competition sometimes? No. You know what that means? Competition, um, like yeah, like like who wins first? Who wins first? Yeah. yeah. And it's easy for you as the older brother to like win and take over, right? Yeah. Yeah, do you ever feel like that uh, sometimes, Sophia? Um, yeah, sometimes we play like kickball at our school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and some everybody knows that, um, that somebody has to win, but some people in my school, in my class, they get really upset and start like crying just for a game. So sometimes you find out that when you're playing in a team, have you ever played like soccer or something like that? Yeah. And you're realizing it's always the same people that keep kicking the ball and they don't let other people yeah. have it. What happens? That's um, not we, fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what hap How do you feel? Um, Sad. Go ahead, Zeke. Zachariah. Um, I feel disappointed. Because you want to participate, because you have something to add to it. Even though you might be small, you want to be able to do that. To play soccer, yeah. for example, right? Is soccer one of your favorite sports? Yes. yes. I kind of guessed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure, but I assumed. So what kind of things do you do to show teamwork? What have you had to learn, Ezekiel? Um, that I could let my brother, like, help out with mm -hmm. me. Help. Mm. So not always to be the one in charge, yeah. right? Yeah, that's mm. kind of hard to do, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And so what do you do to let that happen, to give him an opportunity? What do you do? Um, so Zach just like makes pictures and stuff like that, and I just write the words out. Oh, so you let him like draw the pictures, and then you yeah. write the scriptures. Yeah. That's a clever way of showing good teamwork. Yeah. Anything else that you show good teamwork, Zachariah? Can you think of something um, else? We do stuff like sometimes I make a glow track. Mm -hmm. And Ezekiel does some too. And some too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so even playing games, did you have another question for them? Um, actually, I do. Do you guys always share, always um, have good teamwork? Um, not always. <laughs> so what happens when you don't? <laughs> um, it's very hard, like, like sometimes I would need a better picture mm -hmm. so I can Probably so we talk about, you know, have you ever heard teamwork makes the dream work? No. You haven't heard of that? Sometimes we say that here at 3ABN, that teamwork makes the dream work. But, you know, there's certain things that we can do to help each other out. Yeah. And, for example, for you, it's to, it's to be able to listen to your other teammates. Yeah. For example, hey, listen, because they might have something to add to it. Yeah. Or learning how to talk about oh. what you're thinking. 
because you might have some good ideas like how to win and hit the goal in the soccer ball, in the soccer goal, right? But they, can, yeah. but they can have a good idea too. Correct, and you might come up when you discuss it, how to do that. Did you have something to say? No, okay. And you know, when you t are able to talk with other people and you say other things, you can encourage one another. You can say, hey, good job, Ezekiel, and, and vice versa, right? Ezekiel can say, good job, Zachariah. When you talk yeah. about encouraging other people, that builds teamwork, right? Yeah. And that would encourage others. How about learning to think? Ooh, mm. that's hard. You know, sometimes we get so in our mind that we think we're better than somebody yeah. else and we think we know what to do. Mm. But again, thinking about a good strategy. For example, how to get around somebody that's really big in the soccer team, for example. Mm might be a good idea. Yeah. Like how would you go around and get to that person, right? Yeah, yeah. It, I, yeah. I think it's time for our Bible verse, right? I think so. Let's go to our Bible verse, and that's a good call. Did you wanna read it or should um, I get? Uh, you can read it or you okay. can read it. Let's try Hebrews 10, 24. And let's see right here, it says, can you read that, Ezekiel? Okay, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. So we want to stir up what? Um, love, love and good, and good works. works. Not stir up anger and because it's easy when you're on the team. Oh, that was a bad shot. Why did you do that? You want to say yeah. what? Yeah. You want to say like, oh, maybe next time you'll get a good better yeah, shot. Yeah, that's okay. We'll do better next yeah. time. That's something to be yeah. able to do. You're right. So. I don't know, but I think it might be time for our question Ooh, yes. today. And I think this question relates to our topic about oh, yeah. teamwork. Do you have it? Yeah, this question goes to Aunt Francine from Australia. When picking teams, I'm usually the last person to get picked. What can I do so that I'm not always the last one getting picked? I can identify with Levi. Can you identify yeah. with Levi? There's a whole bunch of you with together in the class, and sometimes you'll have a captain and says, "I pick so and so, and I pick so and so, yeah. and you're the left one, and last one there." Mm -hmm. How yeah. does that make you feel? Sad. So, yeah. what can you do if you feel like? Because I've been in that mm. situation, like Levi. Maybe you can like tell them, "Hey, maybe next time, can you?" choose me not to be last because it's not fair that they get to be first and I get to be last all the time. So that communication that we just yeah. talked about, you're right. And you know what? Don't give up. Keep practicing. Sometimes we can get better at a sport yeah. and even if you're not good at it, just by practicing, you're going to build up your self-confidence mm -hmm. and then give encouragement to others. When you say, good job, Zachariah, good job, Ezekiel, they're going to want to pick you because, yeah. hey, you're encouraging them. Yeah. And encouraging other people is already a big thing to do. And how about showing respect? Ooh. If you Ooh. don't show respect and you cut people down, do you think they're going to want you on their team? No, because mm -mm. they don't want somebody that's going to be mean and not encouraging mm -hmm. them. And then, of course, you want good, healthy choices, and you want to try other new activities. Sometimes just being able to try different things will help you do better yeah. on what you're working on. So yeah. Levi, we identify with you and there's some of you at home that we all feel that way. And you know what? Bringing our talents to our team is more than just being a dream. It's taking part in something bigger, much bigger, when we have heaven in view. Getting along here on earth is only a small part of what we will see in heaven. Can't wait to see what we accomplish as a team. Hope you'll join us for the next Kids, Kids Talk!